Well, folks, we're getting back to a topic that we started last year. <laughs> so um, we've got some felled logs here that we drug out of the woods. And yeah. well, with all the wood, with all the tree clearing, Brian's creating uh, quite a few more logs on our property. Yeah, exactly. We need something to do with them. Yeah, what are we doing with all this wood? We just so we've uh, we milled up some last year uh, with our chainsaw mill, and uh, we've got uh, these logs and a couple other bigger ones. Uh, that will continue milling up. Yeah, we've been collecting logs for a while. Even yeah. before we got onto our property, we've been collecting logs. So <laughs> I think it was our dream to be able to make lumber off of the off of the, the wood on our property. And uh, now we've, we've found yeah. a way to do it. Yeah, so, so we use the mill. We're going to use it to make cabinets for the camper, uh, countertops for the camper. So... Several months ago, we had gotten a chainsaw mill so we could actually do our own milling because we were getting outsourced. So uh, we right. still have some of those planks. And um, well, now we got a new tool to smooth them out, turn it into furniture. Yeah, you know, I didn't have a good uh, chain for the for milling with the chainsaw mill. And so that made it left them pretty darn rough. Yeah. So yeah. really too <laughs> rustic for what we're going for. Right, but, exactly. Uh, We'll let Brian show you what it's all about. Welcome back to the channel. Amy and I were lucky enough to, to receive this 12 and a half inch planer from Viver. He sent it out to us to give it a try and see how we like it. Uh, and as you can see, we've been using it already. Uh, we took some of the lumber that we milled with the chainsaw mill and uh, we've done a couple slabs now, uh, boards, uh, and uh, they've come out real nice. So let me show you uh, the after of the one I just did. All right, this board's not done, but you can see how well it's planing it. You can see the chainsaw marks, and then look how smooth it is there. So we'll keep going a little bit at a time. I've got my vacuum hooked up, so I have to take only a little bit out. Uh, so I do about a, uh, maybe an eighth to a sixth, a, a sixth of a turn on it. Otherwise, I'll blow the breaker. Okay, so you can see how rough it is. And I've only made a couple passes. Starting to smooth out all those chainsaw marks. So let's run it through a few more times and then flip it over and see what we get.
nice color. Beetle kill pine. Yeah. All right, here's the board that I just finished. As you can see, it's really nice and smooth. Way better than the uh, the chainsaw cuts that I had on it before. Okay, here's our before and after. Before on the left and after on the right. Of course, you can see it's all wormy, and this was the the very outside board. So once we get some of the inner boards. Uh, it should look a lot nicer. So. Unless you like the wormy effect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, that side looks pretty good. Except the end. Yeah. yeah. Alright, again, this is the 12-inch Viver planer. We'll plane up to 6 inches thick and 12 and a half inches wide. Uh, there's your depth gauge on the side. There's your adjustment. Uh, for the thickness, now, I found that doing a quarter inch turn was the best uh, as far as um, the cleanness of the cut and the feed rate. Uh, roller bars, so uh, as you pull out one side there, then you can just uh, lay the board up on top and then and roll it back, which is really nice. You're always supposed to have it hooked up to a vacuum, but our vacuum hose doesn't adapt to the outlet on the planer. So I was initially uh, using, I would make a pass or two, then I would blow out and vacuum out the uh, planer. Uh, and the reason for that is because we're 250 feet away from our house and it easily blows the breaker. So I was taking off, so I, I found actually a five gallon um, paint spout could act as a adapter. And if I take off just a little bit of the wood, like a sixth of a turn, then I can run the planer and my vacuum. Otherwise, I'm going to blow the breaker. So, so that worked out best. So that's why you see all the saw um, chips on the ground. Because I'd make a pass, two passes, vacuum it out. Because otherwise, it'll, um, bog, it'll, it'll ruin the machine if you don't. Um, vacuum it so always have it hooked up to a vacuum uh, get an adapter if you need it and uh, and those are the results pretty darn nice so All right, there's the finished product. Looks pretty darn nice. So there you have it, folks. Uh, the Viver 12 and a half inch uh, planer. Planes up to six inches thick. Uh, feeds at about six um, meters per minute. And uh, these are the results that you get. Uh, if you saw the previous video with the chainsaw mill, you, you can you kind of I didn't have the right chain on that and uh, so that was pretty rough wood so if you took that wood down to this nice smooth surface I think that uh, it says a lot about the planer and again thank you for Beaver to send it out to us and uh, thanks for watching hit that like button thumbs up and subscribe if you can I appreciate it and uh, take care for now thanks Bye -bye. well show, slowly but surely we're getting some we're getting some usable lumber here look at that Look at that. Yeah, not bad.